Forget about the hassle of yard sales. Don't bother with the flea market in this age of social media and Facebook. News Channel 36 anchor Dion Lim shows us how a local man has turned junk into the hottest trend in social selling. I'm going to get you. Where are you going? The barking coming from Bill Guyther's yard in Lowell is from his new pup, Lil Bear, who came to live at the Guyther house after Bill's two dogs died last year. We went from having two big dogs in the yard to no dogs at all. But the quest to find a small, mixed breed dog in need of a good home proved more difficult than first anticipated. The only place I could really think to look for, for one was Craigslist, and they have a free section up there, but I found out they won't let you put anything in there that lives. So, out of necessity, Bill started a Facebook group called One Man's Junk, the social selling place where one man's junk is, well, you know the saying. It really is just an online swap meet. By the end of the week, Lil Bear had moved in, and the Facebook group had spread like wildfire. Everybody out there is looking for a deal, they're looking for a bargain, they're looking for a way to save money, they're looking for a way to make some extra money, and we've now launched all 100 counties in North Carolina and seven counties in South Carolina, so total users now is creeping up on about 10,000 people. Anything and everything is up for grabs. Folks selling an air hockey table, a golf bag, rocking horse, jacuzzi, stun gun, and uh, we even found a leopard gecko, whatever the heck that is. I think probably one of the most exciting things was the lady that, that accredited one man's junk to be able to start her own business. And unlike Craigslist, users can openly interact with each other, view profiles. And since 7% of the world's population is on Facebook already, response is quick. Here's a comment on that one. Just got on here and I sold my item in just a few minutes. That, is something that, that robust response proved extra helpful for Amanda Rowland, who, along with her husband, opened the Rowland Automotive Group in Charlotte last year. Advertising is very expensive, so what I had done, um, my friend had actually turned me on to the OMJ page. As soon as Amanda posted, offering reasonable rates and quality service, the response poured in. We've seen about a 20% increase in our business since then, and we're able to hire another technician. Not an easy feat for a small company starting up in a down economy. No wonder she and thousands of others are hooked. Oh, well, I'll definitely keep posting on there. And I have been monitoring you know, each little post to get like little notifications. Whenever anybody has any type of car questions or car problems, I'm usually one of the first ones to respond. <laughs> I use it all the time. Bro. Back in Bill's yard, where there are signs of OMJ finds everywhere. This is a Rubbermaid cabinet that you can keep outside, put stuff in. You know, these things are like 400 bucks new. Hey, buddy, come here. Lil Bear seems pretty pleased with his new digs. I told you, yeah. Bill, he's just enjoying the ride, hoping to grow one man's junk and help people everywhere. I enjoy it, and I like to see people having success and doing well. Now, it takes a lot of time to maintain all of the One Man Junk's pages, up to 40 hours a week. But Bill doesn't make a penny, at least not yet. For links to the One Man's Junk pages and to learn how to join yourself, you can check it out at our website, wcnc.com, under Consumer.